Hey guys, Justin Madison here with Quad Athletics out of Rockville, Virginia. Uh, about five minutes west of Short Pump, 15, 20 minutes west of uh, downtown Richmond. Uh, just wanted to kind of come out here, uh, listen to a couple podcasts, a couple videos, watched uh, you know, Dre Baldwin, Dre All Day, so shout out real quick. Uh, he's got massive amounts of information online, but what he's done is inspired me to do something and uh, he kind of gave me some ideas about how to get you know us out there not everybody knows about quad athletics i had a neighbor come in from two doors down the other day and he didn't realize we were here we've been here for over a year uh, so this has kind of been a challenge accepted you know taken on by me from dre baldwin you know he makes a video at least every day hasn't missed a beat in six seven years so I don't know if I'll be that good, but I definitely want to start kind of sharing my story with people, sharing what we do here at Quad Athletics. You know, it's not just about me. It's not even about me. It's really why we're here. It's simply because a program that we were a part of before folded up, and I just wanted a place for kids to come play baseball. Um, the game of baseball has really been good to me. I apologize. I've got my notes here. I'm not a professional speaker. I'm just a coach, and I uh, just want to share with you guys our story. Uh, so we're here simply because the program had shut down shop and we needed a place for kids to come play baseball. So we found the place. Uh, we, we love it here. We've got some space outside where we've got, um, we're going to be putting in an uh, outdoor uh, infield, um, a full 100 by 100, um, to make sure we got a full 90 feet for our, our baseball players to work with and we can come inside from there. But our facility is pretty cool. It's not the biggest facility in Richmond. It's you know, by far, it's not one of those. We do have our competitors out there that have beautiful, massive facilities. Um, that is not what we're here for. Our, our goal really is to train our players to play and compete at a higher level. Um, so, you know, without the, all the glitz and glam, you know, when you look around our shop, we've got we've got things everywhere. We've got, you know, we've got medicine balls, we've got bands, we've got rebels racks, we've got bat track busters, we've got drive developers. You know, all of that being a, a student or a disciple of Chaz Pippett and the Baseball Rebellion and their philosophies, because they go hand in hand with the way I was raised in the game. So, um, but outside of that, you know, the main reason why, again, like I said, that quad exists is for kids, kids that want to get better at playing baseball. Um, I was very fortunate when growing up that I had coaches that were able to give me, you know, their time, their efforts, their money and resources and invest in me. and. Uh, so I feel like I've done a pretty good job of doing the same thing here and uh, just time, money, investments, reinvesting and trying to give back in a way the same same thing that was given to me by, by a couple of guy, key guys in my life that were like fathers to me. So, um, you know, to go over my notes again, I apologize. Like I said, I'm not a professional speaker. As I get better at these, these videos, I'll, I'll have less notes hopefully to go with. Uh, but, you know, the big thing is it really helps me feel like I'm making a, a difference. Um, you know, I don't know if I was called to do this. I feel like I was. I kept pulling me. I got out, pulled me back in, got out, pulled me back in. Baseball is very, it's a very sticky sport. You know, it's hard to get out of your blood. Um, and I it just couldn't get out of mine. So, and I, I love it. Uh, when you don't ask to do much else, I'll do that. Something I do on the side during the day. But, uh. But this is my passion, it's my love, it's my dream. I love helping kids get better at baseball. Like I said, it helps me feel like I'm giving back to them somehow, some way, some form or fashion. Um, the big thing is obviously teaching them. So in giving back to them, but in reality, what ends up happening is, is it gives back to me. Um, you know, it's funny how the more, the more you pour out, the more you get poured into. Um, because every time you empty your cup, you know, somebody's there to fill you back up. Uh, so the, the cool thing, that's the awesome thing about it, whether it is the kid, it's the kid themselves that gives back to me, whether it's the parent themselves that gives back to me. Um, ultimately, because, you know, because I'm in a position to be a coach, I'm, I'm giving something. So it, it ends up coming back to me somehow, some way, some form of fashion that is really rewarding for me. Uh, so that's a really cool thing about it. Uh, you know, it gets me involved in the community. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not out at every little league game. Um, I, I have gone to a couple of them from time to time. I'm really busy, so I apologize for not being out there more with, with, with more of our players, uh, first and foremost. But, you know, I'm involved in their lives. I'm involved in the community. We have kids from so many different areas, so many different demographics, and it's really cool to see how they can come together in here 
because that's how I was raised. I had a plethora of different ethnicities, incomes, all those things. And that same thing happens here at Quad. So it's really cool. It's life in here. You know, this is just real life. We have a bunch of different types of styles, personalities, and, and people come together and work together as one unit to, to better to better the organization, to better the people, so the kids is really what it matters, was down to. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing is really just paying it forward, training kids to hopefully get some of the experiences that we had, you know, playing college baseball. Um, I was able to play professionally for a couple of different organizations, the Marlins and the Padres. I'll be the first to tell you, I did not appreciate and understand the opportunity that I had when I was with the Marlins. Um, I had the minor league director call me up and tell me I was one of the top five lefty prospects in their minor league organization for pitching. Uh, I was too stubborn and bullheaded and ended up walking away. Only to be, again, like I said, pulled back in. So I was fortunate enough to get signed with the Padres um, back in 2006. Played a couple seasons with them and enjoyed and thoroughly enjoyed every single moment that I had there with them. Um, I wouldn't trade it, trade it for anything. The experiences of the com camaraderie, getting to see people compete, getting to see people train, learning their, their ways, learning what makes them tick, and just simply having a good time, enjoying, you know, kids game at a, at a man's level um, was really, you know, it's a, it's a true blessing for me to be able to have been there and done that. And I know a lot of people haven't and won't, um, but really it's our goal to try and get our kids off to the next level. Playing in Little League provides awesome experiences. Playing in our organization with our travel ball provides awesome experiences. Learning curves in life and things like that, the things you have to work with and deal with. Um, the camaraderie in, at the higher level, uh, some of the bickering at the higher level, as much as it can be a pain in the butt, is still part of the game. It's something I would never trade for anything. Um, it's just something for me to learn from as well. And it's an experience that I will, I will always treasure. So. Uh, I guess that's about it. I know I've got a few moments of your time here. I don't know exactly how much time I've taken of yours, but I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, again, it's my first video. That's why I got my notes. So I'll just toss them off to the side, say goodbye, let you guys know what we're about. Again, we're Quad Athletics, Q-U-A-D, Athletics. Q stands for Quest, Unparalleled, Quest for Unparalleled Athletic Development. You wear it on the back of our coaches' shirts as well. All right, so again, that's what we're here for. I'll tell you guys more about it. This is just part one of just letting you guys know a little bit about of what we do. Um, be on the lookout for some drills to come through. I just created one the other day. I do have a lot of drills from other people and things like that I'll be sharing along the way. I take no credit. Everybody gave to me. I just want to give back. I give credit to where it's, where it's due. Um, so that's about it. Again, thanks a lot. Uh, hopefully you guys will come check us out. Again, we're at 2371 Lanier Road in Rockville, Virginia. You can check us out at quadathletics.com, at Quad Athletics. Um, we got a Facebook athletics account, Quad Athletics account. So we're pretty much out there, just not doing a lot of advertising. Our YouTube channel that we're uh, now we're putting out there, we already have, and we just want to keep pushing it. Uh, outside of that, thank you very much, and hashtag what's your quest.